paralyzes. But a lot of it has to do with what we're feeding our mind. Before you go to the doctor and have them write a prescription, go to the great doctor and see if there's anything going in your mind that ought not be there. Because the Bible says, when I look to the hills, where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. He holds Israel in his hands. He holds your situation in His hands. He breathed the breath of life into Adam. He created the heavens. And yet we're going to worry about what's going on and cower down. Jesus said, do business till I return. Another translation says, occupy until I return. That's a military term. We're supposed to be bold, confronting the culture, not cowarding and hiding and wondering what's going to happen. If you've got the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and two-thirds of the angels on your side, you cannot just go home and cry. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of all this stuff out there. You've got to watch this. you got to watch this. The Illuminati, the conspiracy theories, debating that it was our own government who took down the Twin Towers. I don't got time for that. That's a bunch of garbage. You keep feeding your mind on it. No wonder you're scared and paralyzed and ineffective because you're dwelling on things that ought not be true. And again, I just tore apart that Twilight series in the paper today. You guys have articles in your things. When we start to call witchcraft and vampires and the occult enjoyable entertainment church, we are on a collision course to destruction. Those things are not small, little, nice, entertaining things. Those are the epitome of darkness coming in subtly to deceive the minds. Why are kids now on the news breaking into homes and biting people as if they're vampires? <laughs> Hello, I don't know. Anybody making a connection here? Why is the occult one of the fastest growing religions in America? Huh, I don't know. Anybody wonder? Why do people want to become witches and cast spells and warlocks? I don't know. Fill me in. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You become an abomination like the thing you love. Man. It just breaks my heart to see young adults cutting and suicidal. They won't tell you these statistics on suicide with young adults. That they're having national conferences. How do we address this problem? I'll tell you how to address this problem. Stop feeding their mind a bunch of garbage and stop giving, start giving them peace and hope in Jesus Christ. That's how you break and re that's how you restore a broken world.